Petra reveals winner, Vizio impresses at CES, Toshiba now warns against 3D for youngsters, Netflix gets an easy button for hot CES trends. I'm Kaylee Mosca, web marketing coordinator with Petra, and it's time for the Petra 5 and 5. Take a deep breath, clear your mind, and get ready for the 5 hottest electronics news stories, guaranteed. Petra is ecstatic to announce the winner of our 25th anniversary, $25,000 sweepstakes. Congratulations to Juan Vallejo, owner of Integrated Control in Miami, Florida, who flew to CES to take home the big money. Juan has been a Petra customer since 2007, and when he found out that he won, he said, quote, When I started my business, Petra was the first company that gave me an opportunity to introduce myself to the consumer electronics market, and I will never forget that. Their attention to customer service has always been outstanding, and I feel like I'm visiting with friends every time I work with them. Thank you again for a great surprise." End quote. Thank you, Juan. It's our pleasure, and we hope that you had a great time at the show. Now, with so many super cool products being unveiled at CES, it's nearly impossible to pick out just one to talk about, but Vizio had such a strong week at CES that we have to give them a shout out. To begin with, they announced that they are launching a series of Google TV TVs falling under the VIA, an acronym for Vizio Internet Apps Plus umbrella, which will come in two screen sizes, a 47-inch and a 55-inch. VIA Plus adds Google TV to Vizio's suite of already existing Internet apps, and the TVs will come with a touchpad-equipped QWERTY remote control. That is, if you wouldn't rather use your phone or tablet to control the TV. Oh, what's that? Didn't you hear? That's right. Vizio also announced that they will be releasing a tablet and a smartphone both running on Android with the Vizio skin, the idea being that they will have interoperability. You know, the phone working with the tablet working with the TV. Both the tablet and the phone have an IR blaster built in, so that they function as a universal remote for the TV. Pretty cool, right? And I know plenty of people that like to have sets of things, so this is a genius strategy on the part of Vizio. Well played. Hot on the heels of Nintendo came Toshiba, saying that it's following an electronics industry consortium's recommendations by issuing a warning for its glasses-free 3D television. Now, this is actually similar to a warning that Toshiba issued a few months ago about possible side effects that could occur within children 6 and under when viewing 3D images, but this is the first time they've discussed the possible impacts of 3D since Nintendo amped up the fear factor with their statement. In a press release for the 56-inch and 65-inch glasses-free TVs that they were demonstrating at CES last week, Toshiba said, quote, due to the possibility of impact on vision development, viewers of 3D video images should be aged 6 or older. Now, according to Yuji Motomura, chief specialist in Toshiba's TV marketing department, Toshiba is adhering to an industry group's recommendations for 3D technology, which says that there is no difference in 3D viewing whether you're using glasses or not. So I guess that answers my question from last week's 5 and 5 about 3D gaming versus movie versus Toy Story 3D versus Piranhas in 3D. Man, it's rough being a kid. You have to be this tall to ride the roller coaster, and now you have to be at least 6 to watch 3D. At least you get nap time and juice boxes! Beginning this spring, it will be easier than ever for viewers to access Netflix at the click of a button, as the company has recently reached an agreement with several of its CE industry partners to add a Netflix button to remote controls. Brands will add some version of the button include Sharp, Sony, Toshiba, Panasonic, and Samsung, with the remote operating internet-connected TVs, Blu-ray disc players, and other devices that connect the TVs to the internet. Said Netflix Chief Product Officer Neil Hunt, quote, for members who want even more convenience when instantly watching TV shows and movies streaming from Netflix, the answer is about to be right in their hands. No more turning on the TV, going to a home screen, and searching for the Netflix icon. With the Netflix one-click remote, it's simply a matter of pushing the Netflix button to instantly watch any of the vast selection of TV shows and movies available to stream from Netflix." End quote. Yes, this is infinitely more convenient. You know what would make it even easier? If you invented a tiny little gnome that would sit on my coffee table and push the Netflix button for me. Work on that next, please. Now that the International CES 2011 has come and gone, we have a sense of where this year is headed. In the pre-CES opening State of the Industry Address, presented by Sean DeBravac, CFA, Chief Economist and Director of Research for the CEA, and Ben Arnold, Senior Researcher, four major trends were predicted for the show, and thusly, for the year. Of note, 3D oh, was missing, apparently not everyone's as excited about it as I've been, and those under the age of 6 really shouldn't be. So what was hot? Well, portable and pocketable devices, those with a screen size of 5 to 15 inches, and as we touched on in last week's 5 and 5 in the CES clip, this includes tablets in a major way, with production doubling in 2011. So with all the tablets out there, 
What's the optimal price point? Between $300 and $400. The second hot trend was the intelligence of things, the connectivity and interconnectivity of devices, be it a digital camera with a GPS or a meat thermometer that can send information to a smartphone to tell when dinner is done. Thirdly, they discuss the next decade leveraging sensor technology in increasingly shrinking sizes. We see them in our everyday life, from tire pressure sensors to accelerometers. The most dynamic example of this is Microsoft's outstanding success with the Kinect, which sold 2.5 million units in its first 25 days, the fastest selling product in CE history. Finally, they discussed appification. 55% of mobile owners use apps, and DeBravac told attendees to look for content apps they are an integral part of the solution. Do you agree with the state of the industry address? Post your thoughts on our Facebook wall at facebook.com slash petra.industries. That's your Petra 5 and 5. Have a great week, and we'll catch up with you next time for more hot industry news.